tow truck. Dude, dude, move, move, move. Oh my god, it's gonna get that person. <laughs> don't do anything stupid. Nope. Don't you do it. You're gonna lose your life today, don't you, bro? Yeah, we do. Jesus. Oh, scared me. Uh, I could buy times two in that vehicle, and they got away. They're going for a pit. Pit was successful. For the most part, yep, right here. Box him, box him, box him. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 5. My name is Jeff Fabiano, and this is LSPDFR. We're going to be doing a highway patrol here on uh, US Route 1, just north of Chumash right now, or we're actually in Chumash. Um, and as you can see, the uh, the snow is gone. We're going to pull off the road here. We're probably going to shoot some radar. Uh, we'll take some ANPR callouts uh, if they come over the radio and whatnot, but pretty much just do uh, what the highway patrol would do in this situation. And uh, we'll see what we can come across today. So we got an F620, F620 here, doing uh, 73 miles per hour. And that's pretty quick, so we are going to catch up to this dude and uh, check them out. Do some proactive police work, just uh, probably going to be writing citations since we are doing highway patrol. It's kind of a big deal for these guys to uh, slow down. That's a terrible pullover spot, so we will. We will tell them we don't like that. And we'll move them up the, off the road here a little bit. Yeah, a little bit further, dude. A little bit further. I'm liking it now. A little bit more left. Oh, there's an idiot on a bike with no helmet. Imagine that. All right. Since we look like a California Highway Patrol car, we'll go ahead and do a California style stop. I know a lot of people always ask why I angle the vehicle. It's kind of a Midwest thing, and a lot of different other states use it too. Um, but that's what's going on there. Let's run his plate. It's going to be 63 David Henry Paul 962 on this F620. Let's see if anything comes back on that plate. Target license plate. 63 David Henry Paul 962. Kind of. No 1099. Okay, no 1099. So we know uh, we're dealing with Kate here. We're probably going to just give her a, uh, a citation for speeding. No big deal. Let's get out and talk to her. We have a traffic alert on, um, great. Hello, Highway how you doing today? Can I help you with something? Can I help you with something? Let's uh, ask for her ID. Let's try Get to do love. some good police work. That's what I, my, my goal of 2016 is to become a better police officer in this game. Kate Kana. All right, Kate, sit tight. Be right back with you. All right. So yeah, I want to uh, make sure that, um, you know, I don't rush into these things, so I do it properly. Kate Kana. Let's see if we get anything back on her. Turn the lights back on. Valid 27, negative 99. All looks good with her. I don't think uh, there's anything else to do, but just uh, give her a simple citation for speeding. Oh, it'll be 100, 100 bucks. There we go, $100. And we will issue that citation to her and tell her to slow down on these roads dangerous through here especially up there that's a uh, spot where people you know like this car right here that Range Rover pulling in can be all right be safe Kate take care all right so we'll be 10-8 uh, with a citation and uh, we'll head back and uh, run some more traffic report a possible 503 in okay we're getting a possible 503 right up here where we are so we are going to take that looks like they're headed up into the banyan canyon so we're going to go ahead and light up code three to a possible uh, grand theft auto stolen vehicle and i've got eyes on it looks like it's a black vehicle up there so far what i can see no need to call any other agencies in just yet we would do want to try to get this vehicle stopped and uh check them out before we well they are Seeming like they're trying to uh, run from us a little bit. They've got to be hearing our siren by now, especially at this proximity. It's a black uh, newer charger. It's like a 2015 charger. I could buy times two. And they hear me, but they don't care. So we're going to try to stop them. Give them a verbal. And they are not listening. They are taking off. So we're going to be in a 1057 Victor with this vehicle right now. Heading uh, north on uh, Buen Vino Road, which takes us all the way up to 68. So we're going to let our other local state patrols know we have, we have this going on. So hopefully that will uh, get some more people. There we go, turn the siren back on. 
All right, yeah, so we are definitely in a pursuit with this vehicle right now. But ooh, watch our speeds here. And I am using that semi-realistic physics mod, so we should be able to do some pretty decent pitting, hopefully, if all goes well. So this guy is really not showing any signs of slowing down on these two-lane roads, which is quite scary. All right. But whenever uh, traffic's permitting, we might have to take him down ourselves with a pit maneuver. But as of right now, we'll just keep, try to keep it on the road. I tell you what, it's very strange going from all the uh, slippery ice, uh, snowy roads to normal. I'll tell you that right now. Got to manage speed a little bit better here. There we go. And right now, we're not flying up on them and putting too much pressure on them because they're already dicing them out of traffic. We're trying to, uh, you know... Oh my god, they just 1050 would off the cliff completely. Huge 1050. That's how it happens right there. Let's see those hands. Let's see those hands. Got one running from us. Hey, give it up. Give it up. Get up. Get up. Give it up. Give it up. Oh, he's running from me. He is definitely running from us. Dude, I'm going to tackle you. Oh, we got the other lady over here too. All right, come on. Come here, you. I'm going to tackle you. That's it. You're getting tased. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wrong thing. You're I hate when it does that. All right. All right, good. They're going after the girl. We got one in custody here. Man, I thought I had my stun gun out. I did when I pulled up to the car, and then it changed it. Mark Roland. What the hell are you doing today, Mark? Let's run his name. Mark Roland. Nope. This police toolbox. All right. Valid 27. He had no 99. So... Uh, Mark Rowland probably does not own that car, and we'll do a little police work with that. Um, let's go ahead and stand him up and take him back to our vehicle. I mean, our, we had to jump out of the car pretty quickly. Where the hell did it go? It's, okay, it's still there. Come over here, Mark. Cross the, uh, cross the creek. You good? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I had my, uh, my taser out originally, but I could be wrong. I have a glare <laughs> coming on my left side window right now, and it could be uh, creating a problem, yeah. So, I mean, he was managing the roads pretty decently there for a while, and then they just lost complete control of the car, so they went off the edge. Horrible. We'll search this uh, side of the vehicle, see if anything fell out. Hard to say at this moment. Okay, nothing of interest. So we have the plate right here. Let's go ahead and run that plate. I know it doesn't... Probably doesn't uh, belong to Mark here. So 49 uh, William John Ida 141. Let's see if anything comes back. All right, dude. Follow me over to my car. I'm going to put you in the back of the car. 49 William John Ida Benjamin Crayham. No, 1099. Well, I hope Benjamin has insurance because he's going to need it today. Not lying about that. Have a seat for me. Actually. And don't try anything. I'm just going to see if my uh, pet search frisk worked. But the prisoner transport will come and pick him up, and uh, we're actually going to call for it right now. Um, since we're way out here in the middle of nowhere, I don't know if we can get this thing towed out of here or not, but we will try. Copy that. On the way. On the way. Okay, I'm going to call for a tow truck right here, see if I can get one to spawn behind me on that main road, and it looks like it will. So, wow. I mean, I called for some backup, and it took a while for them to get down here. Okay, Sierra. Um, here's the flatbed, and he's just probably going to drive it right off the dam. Oh, my God. Oh, casualties. And we got a fire. Somebody freaked out and drove off the damn bridge. And now we got a hell of a fire here. I don't think I have a fire extinguisher. Nope, I have to get one out. All right. Well, we're going to wait for uh, this to blow over before we call corner down here to get those bodies out. But we got a massive fire right now. Okay, we're battling the blaze right now until the fire department gets on scene. The best we can right now. I don't know if we're going to be able to do much about it, but this is absolutely tragic right here. All right, yeah, we need some more uh, more services. Let's see if we can get a uh, police toolbox open. Yes, we can. We need a... 
Oh my god. It sounds like people are just shooting people out there now. EMS. No. Don't need any of that stuff. Never mind. Alright. Looks like the uh, fire department is on scene. Oh. Come on. We're out of that already, I guess. Yeah. Already ran out of uh, stuff. Which is okay. They have fire extinguishers. Alright, guys. Good lord. That, that was just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Sheriff is on scene. And, uh... I mean, our, our car is fine. But, yeah, that tow truck was trying to turn around. I think the tow truck did get the car. It was just the other people that died. Are they still in that vehicle? Yeah, they are. They're charred to pieces. Should we try to get a corner down here? Well, let's try it. Remove the body. Since the uh, fire has moved on that side now and is a little more contained, we'll see if we get the corner out here. I, I apologize. This is a pretty long... Uh, situation oh my god another one bites the what is going on here at this this is dead man's cove is what it is all right we're done we're done here it's just gonna get more and more out of control so code four off of that will be 10 8 look at that they found her they found her down here in the orange groves that's her that's the passenger that was involved so they'll both go to jail and uh We'll be out of here and head back down towards the one. What happened? What is happening? I don't know. We'll be 10-8. Okay, we got a gauntlet doing 76 miles per hour right here in front of us. Just clocked him. It's 76. That's pretty good. I was hiding right there at that uh, apartment complex. That was a pretty good spot, I thought. All right, let's catch up to this dude, and uh, we'll pull him over where it's safe. Wow, he is on a mission today. All right, light him up right here. Come on, pull over, there we go. Well, a little bit better. We'll use Mimic to get him off the road completely. There we go, a little further up. And I know a lot of you guys have been wanting to see a uh, DUI checkpoint, and that will be coming soon. It just didn't work well with the uh, snow. Everybody freaked out on the snow for some reason. I don't know why. It, what was going on with that. All right, so we're gonna be out with this gauntlet. Let's go ahead and run the plate on that vehicle. Right now, we just have them pulled over for speeding. Uh, it's going to be zero, 00 Adam yeah, Charles uh, Union 901. Uh, Chumash, now, I know that's a higher eight, priority call out zero, there, zero. but Adam, Charles, we respond to those all the time. Nine, Bench zero, warrant one, for Kim warrant Orange. Issue. All right. And a lot of you guys have told me I can just run her name now. So Kim Orange and see if that is true. If they have a warrant for their arrest. Very cool thing. You said that their your department does that, so... The, the plate shows that for Kim Orange, so it's a bench warrant. She'll probably be going in on that. Uh, valid 27 and no 99, so let's get out and talk to Kim. See if it is Kim. If it's a dude, it'll be a different story. Hello, how you doing today? Pulled you over for speeding. Can I help you with something? Can I help you with something? Uh, got ID on you? Kiflam. Kiflam. If you're Kim. If you're Kim. And it's Kim. All right, Kim, sit tight. Be right back with you. Almost fun. <laughs> it was almost hard to not laugh at that because we know that she's going to be going to jail. We already ran her information. So I think what we'll do is we'll call for an additional code to, to our location. A lot of you guys want to see the um, the FinCone uh, or the, uh, the police radio backup, and I'll show you. I haven't had very much luck with it. So if we call for a traffic backup on this vehicle... Um, and they should come up behind us and park. They don't seem to do much. That's the problem. But I will show it to you just uh, because I get a lot of requests for it. So Kim is unfortunately going to be going to jail on a bench warrant. Um, like I said, you know, normally if it's a smaller, uh, like if I'm doing a sheriff patrol or something, I like to work with the people, but we're highway patrol. Kind of have a zero tolerance issue for all that. Okay. So they show up. It's an LAPD um, unit. Or LSPD. All right. We're going to get her out. We are going to take that, though. An officer homicide in the area? That's not good. All right. Continue. Got a problem here? Got a problem? Step out of the vehicle for me, ma'am. All right. She's stepping out. We're going to Damn, go ahead dude. and shh. We're going to frisk her. A little respect, homie. Well, we're going to frisk the air, but it will be her. A little respect. No, you don't get none of that. 
All right, let's get our uh, billy club out. Yeah, and we can... Seriously? Yep. Come on, give it up. Nope, you can't do it. Yeah, you have to use a weapon. All right. Well, or a flashlight, but it's during the day, so why? Jerk. Down to the ground. Down Go to the ground. Down. You're under arrest. Oh, shit. Under arrest. I don't know why we had to have a uh, felony stop here, and but that's, a that's another reason why I don't really call for them, uh, the police radio backup, because they always pull up like that, like it's a one of those what deals. Fuck? Okay, going in for the arrest through the car. We'll have her 1015. And we're going to stand her up. She had nothing on her person, but we will check the vehicle. Put the gun away. Oh. I really wish these guys could leave. I thought it was G or T, but it's not seeming to do any. Nope. Nope. Just get in the car. Just get in the car. You guys can get out of here. Yeah, see? It just broke and doesn't work. That's why I don't call for them. Let's uh, check this right here. This side. We'll check the trunk. We'll check the other side. I mean, she was speeding around here, being an idiot, and that's what happened. So we'll just finish up here, and then we'll we'll try to catch up to that vehicle that uh, came over the radio for uh, their uh, wanted people. Go to this side. And I understand, you know, some of you guys don't like this kind of policing. I really like it. It's proactive policing. It's it. You have to use your brain a little bit. Uh, when you're in constant shootouts and you're dealing with, you know, stuff like that, it's not really a huge deal. So, I mean, it is a huge deal, but you know what I mean. I did not mean to check the engine compartment. I never checked the engine compartment, but... Okay. Ask for the tow truck for that vehicle. It's going to get towed. We're going to call for a uh, prisoner transport for her so we don't have to deal with them. We're going to go try to catch up to that vehicle that's wanted in the state. Great Ocean Highway. There they go. There goes her car to the impound lot. So just waiting on the uh, prisoner transport, and then we'll be out of here shortly. Oh, looks like they're here already. Hey. Very nice. They're going to get her and take her out of here. You idiot. You idiot. All right. We're going to be uh, code four off of this uh, traffic stop that turned into a bench warrant. They wanted her down town so that's where she's gonna go we're gonna head uh, back this way and see if we can catch uh, that vehicle that's driving around one for I think it was like a police officer shooting okay this is that vehicle coming right down here towards us in this massacre Attention. This is dispatch. Approach or an exemplar caution. which is a uh, Maserati not a massacre we're turning around here hey, this is a right? wanted individual it looks like it's occupied times one as far as I can tell we're gonna light them up right after this uh, this line of cars here where it gets a little more open. We are going to run the uh, plate on that vehicle since we are right here. It's going to be 08 George Sam John 395, actually. Let's see if anything comes back on that plate. They're wanted for Suspect police shooting. Zero eight, from what I could tell. George Sam John 3 Inspired registration on Zach Lusius. All right. So Zach Lusius. We can run his name right here. Zach Lusius. Lucius. There we go. And they took off. <laughs> um, valid and no warrants. That's why I don't like running plates at lights because it just mess. You, when you type things in, you're turning on lights and stuff. All right, let's go ahead and light them up up here. Actually, it's gonna be a good spot. All right. And uh, this is a wanted vehicle, so this is gonna be a uh, traffic stop or a felony stop, actually. So. We're going to call for a felony stop traffic backup. See if it works. And uh, we're going to order them out of the vehicle here in just a few moments. Just waiting for the additional unit to show up on scene. Hopefully this guy doesn't decide to just take off on us. All right, here comes our unit right now. So we're going to step out of the car here and we're going to get our gun out and we're going to order them out of the vehicle. All right. Out of the vehicle. Los Santos Highway Patrol. Don't do anything stupid, sir. He's giving up. Nope. That's you have a little baby girl, but you're gonna shoot at officers. He's down. Let's clear, clear the rest of it. All right. Looks like they're actually helping this time. That was a legit felony stop. Check that out. Although they didn't pull up on that side, of course. All right, we got a dead person right here on the road. We're gonna close the road off right now. Oop, wrong button. There it is. 
So yeah, we're gonna close that off and we're gonna make sure there's nobody else getting in through here. Just for now. And we're gonna call for a corner to pick this body up. And we're gonna search the vehicle, so. Call for that corner. We want it to spawn behind us. That's why we're facing this way. And let's search the vehicle. That was pretty much how I figured it was gonna go down. It took us a while to catch up to that vehicle, but you know, when you have somebody known for shooting at officers, it, you gotta take that serious, and that's what we did, so. Checking this. They're taking pictures of the dude. Right, let's check the trunk out here. Anything? Nope. We'll secure the weapon. We'll come over here. They picked the body up. We'll check on this side. And, uh... Actually turned out pretty good for us. You know, I was ready. I didn't know if he was going to pull a weapon on us or what, but he ended up... Oh my god, coroner. Learn how to drive. Let's call for a tow truck. Let's just, you know, add to the noise here. Let's open the road back up. So everybody can get flowing again. We're going to move our car out of the way. All right, guys, you're good to go. I hit T, G, nothing. Yeah. Maybe they just despawn. All right, tow truck's on scene, and it has that Maserati, and it's coming towards us. No, 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 no. Come on, dude. Just wait. Just wait. Let me get through here. Turn our uh, spotlight off. All right, we're going to head back to our uh, patrol area up there off of one, so... We'll be code four off of this mess and uh, 10 8. What a shame, you know. I'm glad we got the guy, but he had to die, so it happens. All right, we had this truck. I was trying to head down here to a spot to uh, shoot radar, and this Tundra just kind of pulled out in front of us. So, this Hilux, I mean, uh, Tundra. We're going to run his plate, check him out, see if everything's going on with him. It's going to be uh, two. Oh, that's terrible looking inside. Two, uh, six Sam Zebra Robert three two six. Two six Sam Zebra Robert three. And a Luca two, Loser. Six, no, ten ninety nine. All right, we are going to make a stop on them and just give them a warning for pulling out in front of traffic like that. All right, they're pulling over for us. I don't like that area though. We'll just have them pull up a little further. There we go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. A little bit to the left. Very nicely done right there. All right, cool. And uh, let's pull up behind this truck. All right, that's good. That's good enough. We'll do it. We'll do it California style. Actually, a lot of you guys like whenever I pull over, pull them like this. This is kind of like how California does it, I guess. All right, let's uh, let's make contact with this guy and just give him a, a simple warning. Is all we're doing here. Nothing too crazy. We'll see if they check out. How you doing today, sir? My name's Jeff with the uh, San Andreas Highway Patrol. I pulled you over because you pulled out in front of me back there, and I uh, don't want to be doing that stuff. Uh, do you have any what is it that you're ID doing, on huh? you? What you doing, huh? Keflam. 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 All right, cool. All right, Luca, just sit tight. Be right back with you, sir. Officers report a suspect like I said, we're just going to run his name, see if things are going on with him today, and if not, we'll uh, just let him off with a warning. Luca Loser. So let's see. Valid 27? No 99, so we're all good to go here. Oh, almost took off the door. All right, we're good here. All right, Luca, this one's on me today. Uh, just be sure to, you know, watch out what the cars are doing and don't pull out in front of people. But I got uh, my eye have a good day. Right. Take care. <laughs> this pad. Hilarious. I miss the things they say. That's funny. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and happy New Year to all you guys. And uh, happy Friday as well. I uh, hope you enjoyed the patrol. We'll be doing some, uh, you know, high patrol stuff again. We'll be doing some other stuff. But I really miss the proactive police work. And a lot of you guys, you know, had said um, the call outs were getting a little stale. And, and I agree. So. We'll wait and see. Once I get on the newest version, we can run some newer callouts and uh, and all that good stuff. But uh, we'll get back to the roots. Anywho, take care, guys.